my, my right arm to right now, I'm creating a Skinner box, right? Oh, oh. I don't let him swing around. I say, look, you're locked in here. The way you can get out is push it through. That's what removes it, right? Hey guys, Mike here with Grassroots K9, and we got a, I actually didn't even realize that we had a video of this. Um, so it's gonna actually work out in your benefit. Uh, but we had, a, as you probably know, we had a decoy um, seminar a couple weekends ago, a little while ago. Uh, it was instructed by me um, and then my friend Rod. Rod is a retired Canadian Forces dog handler. Um, and we have uh, this video. And in this video, I'm working a dog and Rod is kind of giving an instructional uh, on, on the decoy work that's going on. So I thought it was pretty cool and it's a, a unique perspective uh, from you know someone with some real actual applicable experience um, handling dogs uh, and, and decoying dogs. So without further ado, uh, we're gonna get right to it. Come in, we start like this, dog comes in. Oh, sorry. Okay. Bite, and then we transition, we hook the collar so we can control the head. So now if anything funky happens, I have seen handlers get bit in the face. So do it stuff like this. We have. Um, do a dog for probably longer than I've been alive. Um, I'll tell him you said that. <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. He's gonna do something else, he's gonna take the pressure off. Maybe he'll open up a bit. Open it up, let that dog know. This dog, when we look at him, he's gonna look at him. Uh, that'd be great. So, one of the things with, for handlers out there too, with this back tie stuff, we don't wanna let the dog's legs get tangled up because dogs will break legs, okay? So always a little bit of tension. And the tension too, he might, might tell him post. Post, 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 and Dan's gonna hold strong there. And that way he can work him a different way. So look what he's doing now. Say it. Say the safe word. Um, he doesn't know the safe word, so yeah. He's just working him now, and this dog's happy. Look at him. Tail's wagging. He's in there. He's in the inside. This is a hard spot for a dog. Dogs you'll see, and we talked about it earlier. Dogs want to escape out. They want to get to the outside when they're not confident. If they're confident, it's, it's hard to go on here. It's hard to go on the inside. Do you want to fight some guy face on, or do you want to work your angles and go to the outside, right? Dogs do the same thing. He's like, you know what, Mike? Today's the day, bud. I'm going to give it to you. And Mike pays him through those little... So he puts pressure, he puts pressure, he puts pressure. He's still putting pressure. Whispering to the He pays and he explodes out. That's how the dog gets paid. Every time I drive in, that's the solution to the problem, right? So pressure, 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 pressure. And see how much quicker it was that time? The dog's figuring out the solution to the problem. The solution to the problem is as soon as I get a little bit of pressure, I drive in and the pressure goes away. And so what do we do now? And some people say, okay, he did it. Make him do it five times. So let's elongate that. So he drives in once, not good enough. Drives in twice, not good enough. Drives in three times. The solution to the problem is always drive in. It might not be the first time. It might not be the second time. Hell, it might not be the third or fourth time, okay? 
but if we elongate these things out to tell the dog that if you keep driving in, this will eventually go away. The harder you bite, the more you drive in, this will go away. Just you notice my, my right arm too right now, I'm creating a skinner box, right? Oh, oh. I don't let him swing around. I say, look, you're locked in here. The way you can get out is push it through. That's what removes it, right? So I lock him in. A lot of times decoys get confused or we think pressure is always high intensity, shaking cans and screaming and beating dogs, but Just so you guys know, two years ago, this dog was not like this. This dog came from the States, and he was all about the huck -a buck He couldn't even be on a back tie. Dan almost let me get bit that um, God damn it, Dan. Yeah. God damn. This is not the first one. So this dog has learned the game. 